This is Giuliano Renico Breeze, and this is part two of my interview with Savinia uh, Barry, who, uh, and I'm now in her studio and uh, looking at uh, her prints, uh, which uh, the original artworks are in uh, Hamburg. Uh, we're in Chef Schoen and Chef Schauen. <laughs> got to pronounce it right. Uh, so uh, go ahead and tell me about your book, the book that you're writing, the, uh, or your, rather you're re-editing. Well, I brought out my book in 2012 under the title Jerba Nights. And now I'm uh, changing the title, re-editing it, and uh, bringing it out again shortly. Yes. And the new title of it, Jerba Deja Vu. Uh, why are you doing that? Why are you changing the title? Uh, because I've added some twists to it and... Uh, it's a novel? It, it's a novel. It's a thriller. It uh, talks about events after 9-11 on Gerba. Right. Which is an In island Tunisia, off, yes. Right. Off the southern Tunisian coast. Right. And uh, one of the the piles of the, the plot circle around the attack on the synagogue in 2002. And then it takes off uh, and gets another angle. And this is uh, the book I'm working at, re-editing at the moment. So what sort of research have you done? Well, I, I did study Islamic uh, culture and language at the University of Hamburg. Yeah. After I came back from my travels in Asia. Yes, and what uh, period of Islamic uh, culture, or uh, history, I should say? No, just in general. It's a language and uh, Islamic studies. Right, what does that mean, Islamic studies? What did that well, involve? It's, it's the language, the history, the culture. Uh, it goes into to depth. Uh, well, um, that is part of the... My research is based on the studies I did at university. Others is from my travels. I've mm -hmm. traveled through many Islamic countries. Right. We, we, which I've other uh, Which other Islamic countries have you traveled in? Well, I've been all apart along, from Morocco, of course. I've been all the, along the coast of North Africa, and of course, the large parts of northern India are also Islamic. And uh, I traveled through China and. Uh, big uh, part of China, Xinjiang, is a Muslim territory as well. Six million Muslims live there. Really? So I uh, didn't know that. So traveling through China, I spent a large part of this time going through Muslim countries as well, and then back into Pakistan, where I also spent maybe four months. So... Uh, 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 what was the name uh, in China of the Xinjiang, Moroccan territory? Not Moroccan, Xinjiang province. Turkmenistan, it used to be known as. It, it, is, it lies on the Silk Route. Oh. You go over the Karakoram into Pakistan. This is uh, trips that I took many years ago. Fascinating. That was also my first encounter with uh, the Islam. After that, I returned to Hamburg to study Islamic Okay, but, but you're not Muslim. You didn't convert, or did you? No, I did not convert because I think all religions have a common basis. The spiritual message, so to say, is the same in all, according to what I have found out. So I, I would never say I am only one religion or another. I would actually say I am a bit of interfaith, all. Interfaith, interfaith. Yes. Yeah, I'm yes. into faith as well, yes. Yeah. So, I also wanted to show you some of my artwork, of which uh, yes. okay. I do abstract things, abstract work. Yeah. Can you just describe what the meaning is behind um, the image? Well, uh, these are abstract compositions. They, they can be understood universally. They, they are not uh, just for one culture, I would say. The figurative work such as this is clearly linked to, to Moroccan. Well, the, 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 this is to do with movement, isn't it? Yes, that is a Gnawa musician. It's the music direction 
which is predominant in, in Morocco, especially in the south. But uh, I also do digital work. This is, for example, one which I was showing in an exhibition in Germany two years ago. And what's the meaning behind that? Um, it's a controversial topic. I am discussing the power of the woman, her natural uh, power that she derives from the Mother Earth, so to say. The horns in this case represent her, her animal dominance. No. It is something which, with which I hope to, to uh, open a discussion between the cultures, because this you can be understood in many ways. And I think everybody is free to offer their own interpretation. Uh -huh. In any case, I want to use it as a cover for my book when I bring it out again now shortly. Uh, for the Gerba one? Yes. Okay. Gerba Deja Vu, this will be the cover. Okay, okay. This and is then you bring out these travelogues. Yes, this is one of the travel logs I, I yeah. bring out, yeah. book on demand, which you can download um, on Amazon. And, and you, uh, this is under the name Alexis Dubarry, which Alex is your pen name. Exactly. Uh -huh. Like with. Uh, but these are not translated into English, are they? They're all in uh, German. No, I have them in German as well as in English. Oh, I, you do. I do this in, in both and they're languages. They're online. These are online. With Amazon. With Amazon. Okay. As well as with others click your way through. Okay. And your art is with Saatchi? And and yes, my, my art you can purchase online as well with uh, saatchi.com. And, and what about this one? This is interesting. Uh, this is a motive from one of my travels in India. Which, uh -huh, uh, fantastic colors. Along with uh, Morocco or Mallorca, which I was talking about before, uh, one of my favorite spots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, any, any more that you wish to share? Oh, uh, no. No? <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. It's lovely talking to you, and I wish you good luck. Thank you so much, Bye. Juliana. Bye-bye.